I did, yes, create the advanced selfie, but I never really considered whether or not this is a big deal for me to look at the advanced selfies. I was like, ah, hashtag, leave it, okay, ah! Why would anyone care what my opinion about the advanced selfie is? But then I realized I created the hashtag advanced selfie. So I, a lot of you guys have been asking for my feedback on the advanced selfie. So today I'm gonna actually be reacting to some of your advanced selfies. I don't know what the hashtag looks like. I haven't looked at it for a while. I think because I've just been scared to see what's, what I'm, I don't know, not what I've done, but more it's like, I don't know what it is. I'm just, I'm nervous to look at it for some reason. Not that I think anyone's gonna be bad or anything. Do I have any right to say who is right or wrong? Or do I have any right to say that I really did coin the advanced selfie? Like, it's a friggin' selfie, Sorel. They've been doing self-portraits for a long time. But wasn't an advanced selfie. So, without further ado. Actually, there is a further ado. This is the first time it's ever happened and that's why I'm mentioning it, but my presets and my advanced selfie university are currently $10 off. It happened because I challenged you guys on Instagram to spot the difference on one of my photos and I legitimately thought no one was gonna get it. And I said $10 for anyone can spot the difference and like 800 people guessed it right. And obviously I can't give you that because I'm gonna go broke. So <laughs> instead I gave you $10 off these purchases only until Sunday. So in case you've been pondering whether or not to get it, this is the perfect time because it's the first massive sale I've had ever and I don't know when the next one is because I haven't even considered sales before. So. Yeah, back to it. Today I have a very special guest with me today, my sister. She's gonna be helping me analyze the advanced selfies because uh, two perspectives. One, I've been doing this for a long time and I've got a pretty good grasp of it and my sister's still learning. So yeah. it's good opinion. <laughs> we've got the same brain because we've come from our mom, so. Break it down. Break it down. <laughs> advanced. Selfie. Holy yeah. Wow. 23.8 thousand people have hashtag advanced selfies. That's a lot of advanced selfies. Okay. Ooh. I feel like I'm gonna be out of a job soon. <laughs> <laughs> Is that actually an advanced selfie though? Hey, that's not an advanced selfie, but thanks for using the hashtag. No cheating. No cheating. <laughs> I love that photo color. So much. The intensity in the eyes and the use of the shadows and the interesting angles on the legs. That's pretty cool. Yeah, the only thing that I Double would say tap. is like just that little white patch on the shoulder just distracts from the face. For me, maybe zoom out a little bit to show more of the background because your foot is slightly cut off, but it's very, very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I might recreate some of them. <laughs> is this an advanced selfie? It is, no. I think it is. Self-portraits, she said. <gasps> has in the bite. I love that one. Yeah, it's, it's very really simple, nice. nice use of like high fashion. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, high fashion or something. Double tap. <laughs> I love it. I think it's nice to see a little bit more natural and not so posed. Obviously it's posed, but it's a little bit in a natural setting and really lovely. Only thing is, I wish the toes weren't cut off. I agree with that one. The color of your hair and the color of the flowers is so perfectly in sync and also the color of the book. It works really well together. There's some like magical vibe that I get from this photograph. It just feels very... Alice in Wonderland. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> right. So well done on that. Double tap. If this is an advanced selfie, I'm gonna lose my crap. Holy sh! Yeah. That's good. You actually look like a unicorn with the pole sticking out of oh. your head. <laughs> so that would be my piece of advice. Watch where the pole is coming out of. You're a magical unicorn though. Baby. I have seen high fashion photographers doing something like this. So for you to do this as an advanced selfie, that's good. <laughs> high five. High five. <laughs> Double tap. Advanced selfie. Oh, I love when I see the advanced selfie. I love how the sun shines through actually and you look like you have a magic finger. That's cool. What you could you do with that magic <laughs> finger? I wonder. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> She's learning Tantra right now, so it's super appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> Something's on my mind. Yep. No, I love that you have yellow shoes, yellow hat, yellow flowers, and the pose is wicked. You've made it great use for, guys, it's obviously a little bit harder to pose sometimes, but you've come up with an amazing pose. Maybe it's inspired by some of the reaching out shots that I've done myself. I also love the sun shining out of the finger. It's great, because usually people would turn around and... <laughs> turn around and try to capture the sun on their faces, but you've spun it around, so well done to you. Sir. But I also love the fact that you're masculine, but you're not afraid of something flowers. feminine as flowers in the background, and you make really good use of them, which is really cool. That is awesome. Slightly too close on the foot cropping though. Holy crap. What's going on with your finger? <laughs> I don't know if I want that finger anyway, do you? <laughs> that is a scary finger. <laughs> I love it. I want to see what your profile is all about because it feels like it's very witchy. Wow. You are very interesting. Your photographs are amazing. Yeah. I love that you've created your own concept in these photographs and really run with it. You keep adding the smoke and the dust particles everywhere. I love it. 
it's so different. It's very different. So well done for standing out, being brave and doing something different because that is rare in today's world. Originality. Ooh, oh, wait, <laughs> what about this one? Oh, I love it. I feel like That's this my type of photo right there. Double tap it. <laughs> oh, she double, Oh, yeah. She triple tap. Okay, that this is watermelon. Good. I do feel like there is a thing to this video today. <laughs> Hashtag sensuality. I love that. The mm. simplicity on the watermelon photo is just, it's amazing. You've done a really great job. The green watermelon with the green background and the simple white t-shirt. You've done really well on that one. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Double tap, you're single. Mm. <laughs> oh, your profile is amazing. Ooh, I love I that I hope one. all of these are advanced selfies as well of your own. That's, that's beautiful. I am out of a job. <laughs> I feel like I'm legitimately out of a job. Stunning. You guys are doing so well. Now I want to find one where I feel like I could give some feedback so that we can all learn from this. For example, this one. <laughs> That's crap. <laughs> okay, this one is a perfect example actually of that. Straight away, I think it's a beautiful photograph. What I would definitely change in this one is you're covering too much of your face. That's why whenever you see me doing the reach out photos, I'm cupping my face in a different way, not covering my face. Because covering your mouth and just leaving a little bit of the nose, it puts too much focus on that area. <gasps> is this a, oh my God, it's a self portrait. One, I have a suit like this. Flight suits are so much fun to, to wear. I don't wanna wear one. The helmet is an awesome, idea. I, I'm so inspired by you guys. Oh my gosh, and it turns out you're a motorcycle girl. <gasps> uh oh. Sorrel's in love. Girl crush. That is such a good idea for you to utilize who you are and put it into the stories, which is what I always say. Show your personality, make it shine through. I almost feel like this should be also recreated in a darker setting with a dark background, not on the beach. Wait, you kind of did that black and white walking down the street. How can a girl that's fully covered in a helmet look so sexy? <laughs> <laughs> My selfies are just about to step up. <laughs> right up to the plate. Shout out to Tur Tiny Circle Dreams for this advanced selfie from the drone. Drone advanced selfies are really hard. That's an awesome job. I would just say that make sure when you crop it, it's not this size, make it uh, take up the entire space of the Instagram post. Otherwise you're not grabbing people's attention as much as you should be with that photograph because it's awesome. One more. Okay, 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 okay. Can you tell that we both have swimmers shoulders? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we used to both be swimmers. Yeah. Like, how intense. Wow. <laughs> Look how big that. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, baby. Mm. <laughs> hubba, hubba. The, the nice lens action going on. Holy shit. Side note. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. So many good ones. Oh, wow. Um, you got one. One shot. Do not miss a chance to blow. Because I don't really come. <laughs> I'm waiting for something to really grab my attention. Two thousand years later. <laughs> Ooh, I like this one. Oh, no, of course you do. <laughs> no, I like it because there's so much motion in it and so much happening, it really grabbed my attention. There is a lot happening. This is a very intense photograph. It is very intense. Um, so well done on the intensity, it makes me uncomfortable. And it feels like something that I can relate to because we all go through a range of emotions in life. It's original. There's so many photos on the internet that just look the same of people copying each other and it gets Boring. A little bit boring at times, you know, and this is so original to me and I love the emotion in it. I'm a type of person that loves to go through life feeling different things yeah. and this brings that out. It definitely so. brings out emotions and it reminds me of my sad advanced selfie challenge, which was one of the greatest. I think that brought out some of the best photographs I've ever done and I miss as well playing with darker emotions because I also fall in the trap of seeing so many polished photographs on Instagram, for example, and thinking that I have to get to that stage. So everything, sometimes I put out stuff that is very polished and I, I miss more storytelling, more emotions in my photograph for sure. So very uncomfortable looking at this photograph, but I think you've done an excellent job. And also, I guess maybe just to support the point whether you want to use it or not. Today we went to the rice fields and it was interesting to see like a lot of Instagrammers come by and all of them seem to be wearing the same things, very flowy skirts, walking through muddy rice fields and part of it makes me go, why? I mean, Everyone seems to be doing it and it also doesn't make sense in that setting. And where is the creative spirit? You know, do you want to represent yourself as everyone else or do you want to represent yourself as yourself? Is that really you or is there something else that you would, that you're craving to bring out and show to the world? I think too many people are safe. You're doing the exact same thing. That's not gonna help you stand out. Don't go for the safe option, sit back. Learn from these people, copy if you need to at the beginning, but then sit back and be like, 
what do I actually care about? How do I actually want to represent myself? More and more, I'm putting in my photos me wearing jeans, sneakers, because that's me. <laughs> and I don't do dresses. <laughs> that drag through the mud. But <laughs> <laughs> on that note, let's thank our beautiful guest. Write in the comments what you guys thought of this uh, review, I guess, of the advanced selfies, my reaction to the advanced selfies. I loved it. Yeah, it was really fun. I want to do them again. <laughs> Thank you so much for tagging. Keep tagging away for when I do the next video. Did you agree with what we had to say? Or do you have some other opinions? We would love to hear it. Do you enjoy the advanced selfie yourself? Let me know how it's all going for you. And also a thumbs up for my beautiful sister. <gasps> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> and th thumbs down for my beautiful sister. <laughs> so you can't fight me. <laughs> but really, I need thumbs up. <laughs> so here are our Instagrams if you would like to see more. And until next time, guys, peace. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>